Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's about 10 minutes after 4 o'clock on April 14th, 2014. If you are a United States citizen, I want to remind you, don't forget your taxes. And uh, <clears throat> by the way, um, well, I'll just leave the uh, politics out of it. I wish we could vote on April 16th. I think we would have a whole different bunch in Washington if we voted the day after we filed our income taxes. But as luck would have it, we do our taxes in April and then we have about six and a half months to kind of forget about what happened in April. But anyway, enough with that. Before we take a look at the chart, I want to remind you that the video uh, and the website are for educational purposes only. Nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research. And please, make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. So let's uh, take a look. Starting out here on a 10-minute chart, I just want to show you uh, a couple things real quickly. Uh, on, on this chart and then we'll, we'll look a little bit more closely at what took place during the day. But you can see that uh, for the last two days the, uh, the S&P has been range bound uh, between roughly, oh where is that, about 1834 and uh, the, the mid-18-teens. And that has taken place after a kind of an interesting looking move down. You know, it's it's the sort of the opposite of what we saw back here because on the 4th and the 7th, much of our trading sort of took the place of a descending wedge, which led me to think that this might be the pattern that propels us back up. But instead, we came back and hit resistance around 1872 then started to sell off in a pattern that kind of expanded. So you can see it started off kind of narrow, and then as we as it sold down, the swing started to get more and more. That's kind of interesting because that's that's not uh, a typical thing. You don't, at least I haven't seen that very often. And the question I ask, and this is not because this is a recognizable chart pattern, but the question I ask is, is that maybe indicative of, of maybe some people kind of capitulating? Maybe some longs getting a little nervous at this point and, and showing their nerves by creating larger swings to the downside? Maybe. Just a thought. Um, but having seen this sideways action over the past two days, uh, you know, and I know that I said I was looking for a target around 1800, and I'm not, I'm not uh, necessarily saying that's not going to happen, but what we saw today is is somewhat encouraging, in that we might be forming a little bottom. And if we are, it doesn't mean that the selling is necessary, uh, necessarily about uh, completed, okay? Because if this does end up being a little uh, reversal pattern here, surprise, surprise, it would be an inverted head and shoulders. We've seen so many of those. I feel like a broken record, but, you know, if the shoe fits... So if, if this is what we're looking at, then we could be looking at a target of just a little bit over 1850 if we break this uh, resistance right here that is currently at right about 1833, 1834. So not, not a bad day. Uh, you know, we've we've done this little uh, experiment before where we've started with a technically significant peak and then we've kind of drawn our trend lines and you can see that um, and, and then let those trend lines kind of radiate. And you can see how there seems to be some, uh, particularly with here, 
the touch and the touch there, or if we put it here, touch, touch here, uh, back test here, back test there. If we put it here, almost a touch, a touch, break out, back test. If we put it here, then we just got hit, hit it as resistance twice, got over it. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm doing here? I'm I'm just saying. Let's. We know this is a technically significant area right here. So the question is now, if we can we can kind of radiate a line from that area. But in the final analysis, I think the the line that's most important that starts here is one that we're not we're not uh, at yet. And that would be a line that is drawn from this point and also from our uh, all-time high back here around 1897. And here's just the long and short of it. If we can get over this line, then I, then I, I have very little doubt that we will rally and we will go back up to test that 1884 resistance once again. So right now, I would just take the day for what it was, a, a willingness for the, uh, for the S&P to show us some signs of strength. And believe it or not, we had that initial nice move up, really a gap up. Then we started to trade uh, upwards in kind of a, a little bit of an ascending flag. And you can see that it we sort of define that at least could partly define that as a small parallel channel with these lines right here. But then that broke, led to a uh, sell off. And right when we got back to about where we started or where we ended up on Friday, that's where this move up which was a pretty swift uh, move of about 14 points. That's when that took place. So that was a pretty good sign. That, that showed buyers willing to step in at the same level that we opened the day at, or if you want to call it the same level that we closed at last Friday. So looking forward, then we got resistance here. If we take out this resistance at about 1833, 1834, then I think we should come up and get back into our trading range between 1840 and 1850. And I think we should even get over 1850 and wherever this uh, red line is at, at, at a point in time that we do that, assuming we do, and I don't want to make that assumption, then um, I think we would also come and test that red descending resistance line. If we take that out, then I think uh, we will get back and we will challenge those all-time highs. So over the weekend, we kind of talked about how all is probably not lost. Even as, as ugly as this looks, to have gone from here and then having lost about 50 points in two days, then a nice rally, then losing 50 points again in two days. It looks like we're firming up down here. I see signs of a reversal. And let's see just how, how much strength might be in this reversal pattern. Um, I just have to take it day by day. But so far, so good with finding some support down here in the low 1800s. So friends, there's your video for April 14th, 2014. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, do not forget your taxes. If you are a U.S. citizen, don't forget. So look, take care. Thanks for watching.